Streaming is changing. At least subscription video on demand streaming services are about to undergo a transformative shift. Actually, that's not even the right word. It's a tectonic shift. And it seems that the raging waterfall of profits that was expected from the streaming revolution was merely a trickle after all. So now this future appears to be in something called hard bundles. I'm pretty sure that I predicted this. Wow, you are psychic. Well, let's talk about it. Here we go. Hey Grant, didn't I predict that uh, this was gonna happen and streaming was gonna get bundled together? How am I supposed to remember that? I'm begging you, stick with Kafun and Apa. So by the confusion that I can see on some people's faces, when I mention hard bundles, that is, I feel I should put it quite plainly. It, it really is just a fancy way of saying aggregate services. Services? Oh, services. <laughs> Which consolidate separate streaming apps into one unified interface. So those types of offerings are now appearing to emerge as the dominant type, the, the model for the future. And right now, the only well-known bundle that most people know, including me, is the Disney bundle. Most people seem to be familiar with that one at least, and it's gained popularity as a unique offering specifically in the US market. Now, there are other countries that have uh, combined aggregate streaming services, but not very well known. So the future seems to be uh, combining a lot of diverse offerings um, into these intracompany SVOD packages and there are two specific models. One is a soft bundle and one is a hard bundle. Disney is a soft bundle and they provide multiple services at a discounted rate, simplifying the experience of its consumer. The hard bundle, however, takes a more comprehensive approach by integrating the libraries of separate streaming apps into a unified platform. Notable examples right now would be Warner Brother Discovery's Max, which is a fusion of HBO and Discovery content and now Paramount's integration of Paramount Plus and Showtime. And despite what would be an intuitive appeal of soft bundles, the streaming industry is wit witnessing a notable shift towards the harder ones. And there's lots of reasons for this. Uh, the, the, primarily the shifts are propelled by the high operating costs of SVOD platforms and evolving investor attitudes towards these types of expenditures. So by merging apps and streaming companies, you can achieve substantial cost savings, streamline services, and even remove content, all of which contribute to a significant financial advantage. Just think how much of the write down of the content over at Warner Brothers actually helped them quite a bit. But this also resolves a, uh, another problem, something that has to be acknowledged at the core level, which is uh, customer frustration and churn. Those things are, well, both, they go hand in hand, for lack of a better way to say it, and consumers have voiced increasing frustration with the overwhelming assortment of a la carte streaming options. They're also frustrated with just how little compelling content is actually being offered to them. They're not getting a lot for their money. The inconvenience of navigating through multiple apps to access what, you know, limited desirable content might exist, coupled with escalating costs of multiple services has led to demand for a lot more efficient solutions. I have covered these results of those cost increases before in a recent video right there. Now, hard bundles through their consolidation of services provide a cost-effective method for simplifying SVOD landscape and addressing those concerns. So it will also make the channel screen on phones and the connect TV, connected TV devices like Roku and stuff like that, a little less cluttered, at least as far as the interface goes. Even the industry giants like Disney are recognizing that there's a huge potential in these hard bundles. And as trends shift towards comprehensive general entertainment services that minimize app switching, Disney is already poised to explore this hard bundled idea with Disney Plus and Hulu. And that was actually first reported by the amazing team at that park place and WDW Pro himself. This strategy aligns with the evolving preferences of viewers, allowing for increased engagement with individual services and a more appealing prospect for advertisers because they're, they'll be seeking to capitalize on the extended user engagement because people won't be bouncing platform to platform to platform. So the industry consensus is hard bundles are positioned as the driving force going forward, shaping the future of SVOD. And as the industry contracts, as I predicted almost two years ago, it's becoming evident that streamlined all encompassing platforms are going to be the rule of the day. There's just no getting away from it. And the trend towards these hard bundles not, over, not only offers the financial benefits that I mentioned for the studios and other types of streaming companies, but it also enhances the viewer experience by simplifying how to get to what they want to watch. Again, increasing 
longer engagement, which is what all consumers wanted to begin with. So as predicted, aggregators are the path forward, just maybe not in the a la carte manner that consumers would have preferred. It's likely that the streaming field will continue to consolidate and adapt, ultimately providing viewers with even more efficiency and immersive entertainment experiences. It's just not quite at a comfortable price point because again, costs keep going up. We're gonna see if, how this works out, but if you have any thoughts or any uh, ideas about any of these changes or whether or not you're interested in something like this, please feel free to share those ideas down below in the comment section because I like to have discussions about this stuff. So until next time, have an incredible day and we'll see you.